What's up? What's good? Habari gani? Mujeba leko. Como estás? You know, um bonjour. Konnichiwa. <laughs> you know, everyone out there that speak a good language and loves to do what they do and it's Black Fuego representing the motherland Uganda and um uh, here in Chicago. Shy town still representing them too. Um, born and raised in the motherland, Uganda. Um, Uganda is my hometown. Uganda, Kampala is my hometown. Um, well, those are my roots. Um, I'm a multi-genre artist. I pretty much do music with the heart of it. Um, well, most people do it for the money. I do it for the love. Um, it doesn't doesn't matter to me money ain't ain't nothing um it's just part of the system that you <laughs> uh, that you you just love you know um i just do music for the love of it um i came to chicago primarily to go uh to go ahead and uh and put my music out there on a higher different level on a it's been it's been a rough ride so being a, a really a, a difficult transition to come from the motherland not knowing how the system out here works a lot of people never understand how hard and how difficult it is to uh to uh to be foreign <laughs> you will never know until you are foreign how difficult it is to uh um to adjust to a system or a culture that you don't know about um peace to my brethren like um Mikey the poet um man Mikey the poet is the is the real deal i mean he he showed me so many things um about how the politics in this industry in the industry game and how things work and you know uh peace out to brethren like uh uh like Janelle Cock you know brother the brother told me one time that uh that the same people that you meet on your way up are the same people you meet on your way down so you can't really burn burn bridges with people you know um i live in this world with a peaceful mindset um my mind is clear but at the same time i avoid a system that is corrupted with so much hate and greed and envy and and fear and people live in fear um of who might backstab him or who might uh say something wrong to them they anticipate war more than they anticipate peace and that's <laughs> that's something i've never imagined you know how you live to anticipate you know to anticipate uh hate to anticipate greed rather than anticipate peace see everything that you anticipate becomes you you know um if you anticipate peace you you will have peace divine for for a lifetime when you anticipate war it will always come to you it's like it's like knowing that you have i'll give you a perfect example um knowing that you have a weapon when you have it you keep touching you keep saying man i bet someone make a move right here i'm bust a cup in them you know yeah they're going to come around they will come around because because you have created it you have created that format you you've created it a zone for yourself and they're going to come around but if you don't have it you don't even think about it you don't you don't anticipate it you will not create it so it's the same thing with peace and love and unity i know that you know um i do music um with a lot of people um uh, i've done music with a uh, uh good people like ghostface killer from the wu-tang clan peace out to you bro um uh the song is iron man 2 magnetized uh you can look it up um check it out better from uh, double day for life entertainment peace out to turo 
Um, I've done music with uh, Mikey the Poet, you know, I've done music with uh, producers like DJ Slow, you know, I've done music with, with um, good producers like Eero, um, Jan Jonathan Santana, you know, Jay Santana, um, VTZ, um, these guys um, are doing beats for underground cats and, and underground is where it's at, you know, um, forget about the mainstream, the mainstream is, they can say whatever they want period you know they don't talk about peace they'll talk about they'll talk about how they live in but that's not how you're living Tupac had always talked about how life in the streets was because he has been there he he he, he would see it you know he would live it you know um, even though the truth of the matter is he was smart and, and intelligent and and he had studied the literature and he was really smart um, he was never really a gangster like that, you know, but the things that he brought out to the table would show you the injustices of what people were going through. Nobody bothered him when he was talking about a get around, but people started bothering him when he said making songs like Changes, Oh My God, Dear Mama, Oh My God, you know, then he, then everyone was like, "Oh wow, he he's peaceful. Oh he he oh wow, he wants to change the world. Oh he he wants to be a revolutionist. Oh my God! Wow. Oh then everybody got rattled because a lot of people hate the truth. People hate the truth. You know, I have a word for you. Hate the truth, not the truth teller. You know, um, um, Bob Marley, a perfect person for me to talk about." because he influenced all the um the music that i do um when i come to the table with music i i don't mind what genre you you do i don't care if it's rap with hip-hop dancehall reggae reggaeton i do it all because you can't hold a man to a certain degree of of confinement like oh yeah y y y conventional things i'm not conventional i i'm i'm um, I will never be conventional. I, I will never follow a format. Why should I follow a format? Oh, you're supposed to be like this to get into the game. Or you're supposed to talk like this to get into the game. Or, no, I won't. You know, same thing DMX had been telling you cats about for a long time. DMX is a good good, good brother, you know, he's a very good brother. He, he talks about real issues, but people don't, don't pay attention. They don't listen, you know, they, they don't, they never pay attention, but when they do, they cut the feeling, you know. Um, I was still talking about Bob Marley. Bob Marley had an aim. He talked about love, unity and peace all together. But still the world still can, cannot grasp what he was talking about. They still cannot, they don't want to live in harmony. They don't want to live in peace. They want to talk about hate. Someone comes up with a song saying, Hater, hey, you a hater, or oh, you a hater this, or oh, you disrespect this, disrespect that. No, man, it, it, music is not about that. Music is for unity. It's not about disunity, you know. It, it's about unity. It's about bringing people together. When he talked about on his redemption song, you know, he tells people that, you know, emancipate yourself from s mental slavery, what people are going through. People are going through so much that... They're in a system and they're trapped and they can't escape. You know, the only way they escape is when they, <laughs> when they, when they get wasted. You know, when they, when they smoke a blunt, they, they hope to escape the stress. But you will not escape. The bills are still gonna come. You know, uh, be medical, be insurance, be the light bill, be the bills still come. But that's in America. You know, you have to try to travel elsewhere uh, elsewhere in the world they deal with different issues and they don't even have to think about they say you talk about a bill you know tell those things to an african kid he will laugh at you you know you, we in in africa man people survive people in africa are different in a sense i'll tell you why they will never accept anyone to lie to them live if they understand what because they're they're connected to the earth they're so connected to the earth i believe we as a people 
or as a generation have disconnected ourselves from the earth. So we are lost. We have been lost for such a long time now. We are still lost. I see it now. I see it because a lot of people in the streets, be it in the streets, be it at work, they will never challenge their boss or their bosses. They don't. They just say, oh, you're paid to do that. Do your job. So they shut up. You know, there will never be a change in your life if you if you if you um, do that um, bow down for everyone in order for you to get somewhere or to get some place. You know, you'll be surprised what a lot of cats have done to get into the industry. Some people have sold their soul just to get into the industry. That's why I see it in a different I see it in a different perspective, you know. Um, and don't get me wrong, some of them are really talented, you know, very talented. You talk about a brother like Ludacris, that brother is talented, period. He, he period. You talk about T.I., yeah, T.I. is talented, you know. They can sit down and write and, and, and come up with good material. But, you know, a lot of times now we have brothers that come up, they have no content, they have nothing to talk about. There is nothing you can talk about. You know, I mean, I'll give you a perfect example. You could talk about a Maybach. <laughs> I'll laugh at you. Because really, I can't relate with you. How many people do you see in the street or in the ghetto that are riding in a Maybach? So when you talk about you're cruising in a Maybach and how cool you're feeling and stuff, you're not making me feel any better. Or the, the, the average layman feel any better. You know, you're simply telling that person that you need that, but they don't really need it. You know, they don't need a Maybach to feel good. They need love. They need peace. They need, they need enough just to live off, to be happy, to smile. You know, single mothers are playing father and mother at the same time every day just to... And they can't they, they they can't find love they seek for love in the wrongest places ever you know and in the wrongest dudes why because a picture has been painted so difficult for them that they have no father figures never had a father figure you know um it's just difficult it's hard you know <laughs> i mean i could talk about a whole lot of things but I know a lot of you will not listen to me. You know, I know a lot of you will will probably ridicule what I'm saying, but it's real. You know, what is real is real. Single mothers, uh, look at how many. You look at that. You could, you could. Do you want to live as a statistic? But a lot of people are statistics now. They are calculated. It is calculated that you are statistic. That yes, you're gonna have a. A child with so and so, and so and so is a bum, and he's gonna leave because he's following another Scott out there, and you're gonna end up having that kid, and you, he's gonna be baby daddy, you're gonna be baby mama and stuff, you know. But a lot of people now feel like having that baby mama, baby daddy status is a cool thing. Homie, it ain't cool. That's not cool. That's not a good status, you know. I bet you there's a lot of brothers out there even in africa that have maybe two wives three wives but they take care of them you know they do take care of them and they're there in their kids lives you know and they influence them but if you're not in your child's life you're not going to be able to make to make a better a better man for tomorrow or a better woman for tomorrow she's still gonna say oh all men are like this oh all men are like that you know but because the essence of the real man has died, you know. <laughs> I think I went off topic. I should have talked about music. I just got deep, but that's who I am. You know, I get really deep. It's Black Fuego, y'all. Um, <laughs> you can check me out. You can listen to some of the music that I've done. Uh, yeah, it's a lot different whatever you don't understand ask whatever you don't feel let me explain you know um, I think I don't need to explain myself my music will talk for me uh, 
uh, going back to music, yes, I thank brothers like Mikey the Poet, you know, that have stood there for me. Brother, that, that brother is deep. He stood there for me in times in Chicago, in no matter in, what whatever incident happened, Mikey the Poet was there for me. Um, uh, brothers like Mr. Willie Tyler, uh, Reverend, most people call him Reverend Willie Tyler. Yeah, I call him Pops. You know, he, uh, he, uh, one of those men that have um, provided an influence, um, a light to follow, uh, a brother that will let you understand that, you know, there is so much light, even in the darkest of all tunnels. You know, that is Mr. Willie Tyler. You know, he, he has, wow, he has been, been there for me too. Um, he has helped me uh, understand the system. Um, this system that, uh, that is really been new to me, it's very dynamic and it's also very fuzzy. Everything is, uh, is cluttered, you know, in a sense that if you don't know someone, or if you don't know the tricks to the trade, or I can't even explain it, but I can't explain, but you understand what I mean. You know, me being foreign, in a foreign land, in a, in a new place, you know, there are people that just stood out and were like, look, you are different, but don't get corrupted, you know, um, protect your essence. But in that format, that's where these people came in. People like Mr. Willie Tyler, people like Mikey the Poet, people like, you know, I could name a whole bunch of them, good people, you know. That so, me on a different, on a different scale of life, um, and uh, shouts out to brothers like uh, Sharif Bogere. You know he's out there doing his thing. He's a boxer, lightweight. You can look him up. Um, he's coming up. A yeah, very cool brother, very humble. Um, uh, shouts out to brothers like Area. You know Area Bukenya. You know and the Bukenya family. They have always been there for me. Yeah, he supported me. You know, um, show me love. You know, uh, uh, my brothers like Junior. You know, peace out to you too. Uh, you're doing your thing. Uh, hope to see you soon. Um, uh, a lot of brothers, man. Jojo. Um, um, I can name a whole bunch of them. You know, but they're also sisters too. <laughs> that that uh that have influenced me in a sense you know and they talk about real issues you know sisters like raquel sisters like tony you know you know uh all all of them you know uh alexis uh denise they, they talk about real real issues you know but sometimes y'all be on some other stuff but <laughs> but uh uh anywho uh that's me for today um i wanted to talk about my album my album is in the making thanks to jonathan santana uh he's producing some of my tracks um thanks to Eero for providing some of the tracks that i'm going to be doing thanks to vtz um and all the other cast that i'm going to work with soon like christopher or chris leohead i'm going to work with him too um, um I have a lot of respect for uh, a sister in, a sister that's doing music out there called Fancy. Look out for her. She's doing good music too. Um, brothers like Envy, that's him. Envy is a good good guy too. Um, he has most catchiest hooks uh, I've listened to. Um, I haven't worked with him yet. Um, I hope to sometime. Um, um, there's a whole lot of good underground artists, you know, that are that are doing their thing. A brother like D Mac, I've listened to some of his music. He's doing he's doing well. Um, I like his style. He's from Chicago too. Um, uh, there's a lot of good guys doing music, you know. 
but uh, um, to the brethren that are in Africa doing music, I want you to understand one thing. Um, I never, I never chose not to do music in my language. I, I just, I respect my language. I speak Luganda, by the way. Uh, Luganda is my first language. English is like my ninth. Um, so. I never really just chose not to do music in my my language. I can do that music in my language very well, but why choose to be local instead of being global? Out of seven billion people, how many people do you know speak Luganda? You know, just a few, a few, a few people. Um, I'm trying to reach the globe. I'm trying to reach the entire universe, uh, entire world, to listen, to to uh, to understand what's going on. You know. And that's the only way we can do it, you know. But when we stay local and do only in our language, you know, then then we we have left out everyone else. It, it doesn't make sense. I love you. Uh, you. You are my brothers. You are my sisters. You you are my background. I'll do something just for you, you know. But I will not do something on a large scale for you to say, oh no 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 no, Black Fuego no he he uh, no he 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 don't do music in our language da 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 yada yada, you know um, man you have to see things differently. I want you to see things differently, and the world has been molded in a sense that language is such a big barrier. It's the biggest barrier that we have today. It's the biggest barrier is is language. When I can't speak your language, I can't reach you. But when you can speak my language and I can speak your language or we have a same common language, we can reach each other. If we all spoke the same language, honestly, this world would be so far, would be so ahead of our time. But we chose to um, separate ourselves. We still segregate ourselves. Even when you come to Chicago, you will find people that will not talk to you unless when you speak a certain type of language. You, everywhere you go, it happens. But those are the things that keep us very, very backward. Very backward. Um, literally and, and, and ignorant, you know, um, um, a lot of people are educated now, but they're ignorant in a sense because um, all they know is that education that they got from class. Expand, expand your mind, exp open your mind, expand how you think, how you see things, how you, how you, how you, how you, um, you embrace the world, how you embrace the people. You know, live on a spiritual level more than you live off the, the physical level. I know you would not understand what I'm talking about, but but if you see it, you will feel it. Or if you feel it, you will see it. Um, this is how it is. On a spiritual level, you can reach so much that your physical level will appreciate if you if you get the drift. But you don't unless your intuition is strong see whatever you feel in whatever you have in your intuition talks to you that's your spirit that be talking to you but you you barely l listen you don't pay attention and when your spirit is speaking to you letting you know trying to show you a direction on your physical level you're like man shut up this is what i know forget you you know now nah. in the physical format goes la and you're lost you're still lost the only people the most people that have used their intuition to the highest level even still but still get really messed up are females you know most women have women have the the highest intuition level and the connection to earth than the men do uh, that i'll vouch for you that, that 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 is something you can't even lie about they have an intuition that speaks directly and and truthful and and real and 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 they know it before it happens but it's just because they don't pay attention to it we initially not even supposed to be speaking we're supposed to connect on the spiritual level to understand one another but we never do use that until well 
time gives in or until you you know you're about to trans transcend into another level of life or to see another different life then you you start to connect with your spirit again or when you have a child then you start to connect with your spirit again you know but um a lot of people forget that 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 communication is the basic incentive you know for us to to uh to make things happen you know um still here doing this music thing with you thank you for listening uh if you got anything to say or you want to talk about something let me know it's black fuego my rhythms are still champion i still love what i do i love music to the depth of it i love the rest of y'all that do music it's a union it's a it's unity you know um let's do things together um let's change the way we see things let's change the way we um treat one another in regardless of whether whether they whether they where they come from regardless of who they are regardless of their social status or class those are things that were made up by the system for you to um forget your true essence of life you know uh give back to your spirit the most beautiful thing in you the most wonderful things are from you deep within let your self shine you know let your beauty shine from within not from the outside change is from within to the outside not outside in change the world one person at a time love you peace